We are so excited to be with you today. My name is Pastor Holly, and I am so excited to be doing church with you in your own homes this morning. And I'm Pastor Ann, also very excited. <laughs> but you may be wondering why I'm in all this rain gear when we're inside, it's not raining. Pastor Holly told me to come dressed up like this. I know, I didn't really give her the details. <laughs> but we are going to be learning about what happens when there are storms in our lives for this whole month. Our theme is called Singing in the Rain. So storms where I, like, need an umbrella and a raincoat? Well, not really like those storms. We're talking about, like, crazy situations that people in the Bible have got themselves into where literally they had to rely on God or it was going to be a complete mess. That's pretty crazy. I know. And like today's story is crazy. It's about three dudes who get put in a furnace. What? Do you even know what a furnace is? I don't even know. It's a crazy room where it's on fire and it heats. It's supposed to heat everything up. And they got put in it. I know, I know. I'm really oh excited goodness. for you guys to hear the story today because we are going to be learning about how no matter what situation you're in, God's always got it. You know, I've noticed that God's always got it in my life. He's always there. He never fails me. You know, I think that's something that we could all learn together. Yeah. So if I ask you who's got it and then you respond, God's got it, I feel like maybe okay. that would help us remember. Yeah. Okay. Would you guys like to do it with us too? Uh, we're going to count to three, and we're going to ask you who's got it, and then you respond, God's got it. Okay? You got it? <laughs> That's a lot of got it. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. One, One two, two, three. Who's, who's got, got it? it? Amazing! Well, we are going to be practicing that all month long because we have a whole month of learning about what happens when there are storms in our lives and who's got it. And it's always God. So enjoy worship and we will see you next week. Bye, Bye. everyone! Sometimes I like to go outside Sometimes I like to run and hide But I know all the time All the time You are with me Always with me Because wherever I go I know wherever I go Wherever I go I know God is with me Wherever I go I know Wherever I go Wherever I go I know God is with me Whoa, 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 with me, with me Whoa, 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 with me He's whoa, 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 with me, with me God is with me When I am playing in my room It doesn't matter what I do Cause I know all the time Yeah, all the time You are with me Always with me Because It's me, Manny. I'm happy to see you today. But 
I'm really sad that it's still raining outside. <sighs> it's been raining for days and days now. I wonder if it'll ever stop. It's been raining so much, my socks are soaked, even when they were in my rain boots. <sighs> it's been raining so much, my yard has these muddy puddles, and I dropped my favorite teddy bear in one. <sighs> I really don't wanna go back out in that rain again. Oh no, it's time to go home for lunch. Mom said to come home when the alarm goes off. That means leaving this warm, dry clubhouse and running home in all this rain. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? This rain has you feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie. It sure does. It's been raining for days and days now, and my mom needs me to come home for lunch. I know I need to do what she says, but I just don't want to get all wet. Doing what you're told can be hard, it's true. I've got a story just for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So, he told all of the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba, da, boom. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! Bum, ba, da, boom. Perfect! Trumpets down. Okay, so the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great. Trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. And the king was serious. So each day the music played and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. 
They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God was with the three friends, and he will be with you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego through a really scary time. God stayed with them and did not leave them. God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Well, I know God will be with me in the rain and I need to do what mom says. So, here I go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9